This is daily vlog number 105. I feel like dancing. So I was thinking about how we celebrate when we finish some great project or reach a great milestone. I know there are millions of ways to do it. Some people throw a party. Some people go out and get hammered. Please drink responsibly. And some people spoil themselves while others just kind of take it easy and just relax. Maybe curl up with a good book, nice hot cup of tea, wrap yourself in an afghan. What am I, a grandmother? The point is we all have ways of celebrating achievements, whether they be great or small. And I feel like celebrating my achievement. I've been writing something for a while and I have finally finished it. It's gone through a review process and I've incorporated all their edits and suggestions and now I am done. I'm not telling you what it's for, not yet. I've got to think about how we're going to celebrate this tonight because I don't have any meetings or studies or any other responsibilities. I'm free, woo! I got a headache from that. All right, no more wooing. I'm done with wooing. From now on, this vlog will be sans woo. Christy is on her way home, which means I don't have a lot of time to think about how to celebrate. But I'm sure I can come up with something. Maybe we'll go out to Barnes and Noble and start planning our vacation. Remember I talked about doing that some time ago? Time. Yeah, uh, we never actually got around to doing that, but we will soon, maybe. Or because it's such a rainy night, maybe we'll stay in, pick up a book that I've been trying to read, but just haven't had the time because so many other things have been getting in the way. Or maybe we'll practice dancing. We're getting pretty good. We've got the hustle, cha-cha, foxtrot. I keep saying I want to learn the lumbata, the forbidden dance but she won't let me. I think it's important to celebrate achievements. You don't have to go all out, particularly if they're pretty small, like, hey, I finished my homework. But, you know, for something that's taken a significant amount of time and effort and energy, I think it's worth celebrating it, at least in some small way, to acknowledge all that you've put into it and to give yourself a pat on the back for a job well done, provided the job was well done. If you did a crappy job, then go back and do it right. So what do you do when you reach some milestone or achieve something pretty significant? Do you go out and celebrate? Do you spoil yourself? Do you stay in and just kind of give yourself some time off and rest? Let me know in the comments below. Well, this has been daily vlog number 105. 260 to go. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Even if I don't have that much hair, humidity makes a bad hair day. Hmm? Huh? Focus.